Did you guys know some people don't actually understand how cows are raised? So I was in a, uh, I, I like to play a farming simulator. It's a video game about farming, which sounds ironic as I have cows and I farm. So why would I play a video game about farming? But as ironic as that is, it's really entertaining because I can run big equipment, which I'll never be able to run on this farm, like uh, 8RX tractors. But so anyway, so the point of this video is that some folks just simply don't understand how farming works. I made a comment in one of the video or one of the posts in a Facebook group chat about wanting cows in the farming simulator game to be more realistic. And what I mean by that is, is in farming simulator, the only way to raise cows is to grain feed them, to have them in a feedlot and give them grain or give them grass. Well, clearly that's not true because I can give them hay and I can give them a lot of other things, you know, corn stalk, silage, all, all that good stuff. Well, I wanted to be able to do grass fed only, graze them, like set up a true rotational grazing thing in the game just for fun, and then also feed them hay when it gets to be winter time because Farming Simulator has seasons. Well, I had a kid comment and go, what do you mean cows need hay, cows eat grass? I'm like, yeah, cows in real life eat, eat only grass. He goes, no, they don't. I live on a feedlot. And I go, yeah, bud, here's my YouTube channel. Clearly my cows are eating grass. And when I say this, I'm not being negative to this individual at all. He clearly did not know. He grew up with cows. Him and I talked a little bit. He grew up with cows, raises cows, but on a feedlot where they're in different sections or different paddocks and that's all they go and they don't go anywhere else. They're not out here grazing. They're not out here eating grass and hay. They do still scream though for no darn good reason. But he had no idea that I could raise cows like this. And that's a good thing. Not necessarily a good thing that he doesn't understand, but it's a good thing that I saw the post and a good thing I could educate. Because that's a big reason of why I wanted to do this YouTube channel. There are a lot of people out there that don't understand how we can raise animals. Not how we should, or not how we do, but how we can. You know, I don't need grain for these guys. These jerseys look decent for being grass-fed jerseys. Yes, they would grow better with grain. Yes, they would look nicer on grain. I will not argue that, but they don't look bad. You know, they don't look crazy sunken in. You know, they have nice thick winter furry coats. They still only have about 0.2 brain cells per head, but that's okay, they're jerseys. But this guy doesn't need all that fancy stuff. You know, he can eat grass. Now you could say that that's a big uh, accomplishment on the farmer we got the dairy cows from. The Jersey cows from and I will say they have really nice quality stock but that's beside the point you can have good nice quality stock and still not have grain fed or grass fed capabilities thank you for correcting me on the grain fed cow but I want to put out there and I want to educate people and I want to show people proof I can tell people till I'm blue in the face that I grass fed and hay fed my cows but until I show them video proof they won't believe me now, yes, I'm still probably gonna get the activist here and there that goes, oh, you're grain feeding them behind camera. It's like, well, if that's what you believe, I'm sorry. You know, you can believe whatever it is you like. But that's the point, is there's folks out there that don't know this stuff, that don't understand this, that can't see this because they live somewhere where they can't have cows. Let's take my little hometown, for example. You cannot have cows inside city limits, but I can have cows out here. I can have cows out here in the country. So I can show you what we're doing out here with our moomoos. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? And then show you cute cow videos where they just sit there and stare at me because they think I have a treat for them or they want to scream at me for no darn good reason. And you get to enjoy cows without actually having to chase them down when they break through your fence. That's probably the best thing about YouTube farming is you can sit back in your nice, cozy, warm house, drinking a cup of coffee and watch me stress because my idiots are loose. You're not an idiot, are you? No. But I want to educate. I want to inform. I want to show folks that it's possible. It's possible for some young, dumb kid like me to accomplish this stuff. 
You know, I'm not saying that I went out there like Donald Trump and I got some million acre farm with some $10 million loan from dad. No, you know, I may have had some help in different ways, but everyone gets help in different ways. Your help that you may be getting is have a great mentor. I don't have one around here. My mentors are Steve Kenyon and Greg Judy, and I don't have any way of contacting them other than through a YouTube comment or to catch a live stream or something, which is hard for me with my work schedule now. But that's what I mean. I can do these things. So can you. I can raise knuckleheads, and you guys can too. If you really want to chase cows, let me know. You can come out to the farm, and we can chase cows together when they're loose. But I'll have to call you at 3 in the morning when they get loose, and then you'll have to come out. But that's what I mean. I, I, I wanted to educate and inform, and I wanted to show you guys and share my experiences and explain that some folks simply don't understand farming, even if they're in the farming community. And I would say the same thing about grain, uh, grain farmers, right? Not saying that a grain farmer can't raise a cow or that a grain farmer can't have experiences with cows and have an understanding or a knowledge base of it. But I'm sure some of you guys out there would say, well, I've been, uh, here you go. I've been a truck driver for 30 years. I got more experience than you'll ever have, kid. Well, good, but I have different experiences. And if you don't learn from my experiences, then you're not going to get anywhere in life. You're not going to gain anything from any of it. All you're going to do is be a truck driver the rest of your life with half of the amount of experience that you really could have if you'd put forth a little bit of effort and learn from the younger generation. But that's another rant for another time. Hey, Goofy Murphy, you want to say goodbye? You got hay all over your head there, home fry. What you got going on up there, buddy? Bye, Murphy.